Moving on to our next story, I keep on saying I'm going to center myself in the camera, and then I don't. So, breaking news, by the way. Let's move on to our next story after this. Uh, our next story is Common Rider Deno, Pretty Deno. First of all, if you're like me, you're thinking, wait, what is this? So apparently it was because I heard, maybe I heard of this briefly months back and I thought it was a crossover with Pretty Cure. It is not. Uh, It's actually a movie that's going to be released, a brand new Deno movie that actually has a new character. Her name is Anna. She's 10 years old and she runs away after having a fight with her mom and ends up becoming the target of Shocker. I mean, at this point, what 10-year-old in Kamen Rider has not become the target of Shocker? I mean, it's uh, for, 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 for for, uh, you know, uh, uh, for a kid in Common Rider to become the target of Shocker at 10. It is such an, you know, an elementary school pastime. It's like Americans uh, with baseball or apple pie. I mean, it's just so, you know, hamburgers. I mean, it's just so ingrained in Common Rider culture. But on a serious note, something to mention about the film is that the Denliner will be traveling to the first year of the Heisei era, and Momotaros and the others will begin an adventure in the past. In the past, really, it's it was it's just the year two thousand, right? Or am I wrong? The, was was the first year? Because I'm thinking this is twenty years ago. Am I wrong here? What was the first year of the Heisei era? I don't need to know this, but in a way, I kind of feel like I should. Oh, nineteen eighty nine, right? Technically, the the movies were Heisei films. Okay, nineteen eighty nine. That's fine. That's before my time. That's three years, but still, I'm okay with that. Nineteen eighty nine. That's fine. I thought they were trying to say we're gonna go back to the first year of the Heisei era, two thousand, because it's the first year of, of, of Kuga. But no, of course, it's not the first year of the Heisei era. But they got me for a second. I'm about to be so mad for a second. I was gonna be like, I was so mad. By the way, if you're watching this on a YouTube channel, you can tell that I've changed shirts. Uh, you can tell that there's an AC blaring in the background. Also, you listening can tell that there's an AC blaring in the background uh i'm not mad about that at all uh but i am because i had forgotten it's just so it's so warm outside so i thought let me turn it on and i'll turn it off before i begin recording oops uh that's what happens when you record at three in the morning either way uh talking about uh the film itself we talked about about well we talked about the film itself but talking about its potential new release i'll say why potential in a second it is actually going to be coming out august 14th 2020 now the reason why i say potential you know it's been uh postponed before it's gonna potentially be postponed again uh japan is opening up in some form or another i know that they just had uh njpw just had a pro wrestling event with fans in the crowd so it seems as if they're doing much much better and i really do hope that they are but sadly there is no vaccine in sight so because of that i am a a bit concerned of, of what could happen next so especially with having you know tickets um they have advanced tickets you can buy prior to the event so they're they're really working on this assuming that it's going to be released august 14th but there is a reason why when i talked about our previous story a previous story about a movie anyway talking about common rider and super sentai's newest films how those are delayed again those might be an issue with production but clearly here it's just an issue about release so this can be delayed until any time but it would be interesting to um you know to see if uh, how this happens, how it works out, if it ends up getting put out on DVD. I mean, I, I would imagine it would probably just be best in some way or another to try to work with Toei's streaming service. I know that if Japan is anything like the U.S., I know that you can't get that across the board, any kind of streaming service here in the U.S. I know the U.S. is much larger than Japan, but still, uh, certain areas of the U.S. have really, really bad internet. And sometimes it's even right here. I mean, I'm in New York, and some people think that New York is just New York City. But no, I mean, you know, there's the what people consider the sticks uh, when it comes to Long Island, when it comes to upstate. So some people think that New York is just the city with, you know, a high, fi- high fiber, high fiber, high wire fiber internet. What? I can't think of the specific terms, but still people think that everything is just advanced because New York and that's can't couldn't be farther from the truth when it comes to things like Internet connection and stuff like that. So I think that uh, looking at it from a U.S. perspective, it, it wouldn't be able to potentially work. But I don't know if they have enough people on their subscription service or if they have enough people who have cable that they might just want to very much like the troll movie or something like that here in the U.S. They would just want to put it there and just say, hey, pay us for, you know, pay us to watch it at home. I don't know if that's an option at all, but I know that uh, this might be delayed again, and I don't know what Toei will do if, uh, you know, if they're 
if they have to kind of what's the term i'm thinking of it's not play their hand but it's some type of poker reference i don't play poker uh my extensive knowledge is of, of poker is from uh dave Chappelle skits and common rider uh stronger basically that's it just random and i think maybe some card references from blade that's as far as i go so when it comes to this film august 14th 2020 is it coming out is it not what are your thoughts and do you think we'll end up seeing it ever i think that eventually we could but we're gonna have to get deno first uh at least i would think we would i don't know anymore because we got common rider hey generations forever so i don't know what what would happen with these movies at this point but i would imagine they would probably want at least uh deno out and then also i don't know if this is gonna try to uh, be in canon with all those other movies you know like uh deno red white and uh and yellow not red white and yellow it was a uh, red blue and yellow you know all the pokemons and uh, i don't know if they're gonna go any in that direction as well so just tell me all of your thoughts down below in the comments